Well, big up all the Cinderella, they may not play. Where can I find my black Cinderella? I am here vibing with one of the pioneering members of Jamaica's entertainment space. A man who has been through all the stages of Jamaica's music. From ska to rock steady to reggae and has transitioned and is still going strong in the dancehall era. His parents named him Errol Dunkley and today he shares his story. No old town talking about you and your new guy. Teach them! Always make sure the message I reach them! The Scarcher! Yeah! Great I mean, man. Yeah, man. Oh, yes, so we do that. We do that, man. We do that, man. We do that, man. We soon get round to that, man. Everything good, man. You know where that comes from. You know where it comes from. It's all a great man. Yeah. Sir, Dunkley. Yeah, it's a it's joy. A, yeah, it's, it's a, a honor. Yeah, the pleasure is all, man. Yeah, man. For one of the man who help build us up here from yeah, the man. ground yeah, up. Man. Because when you are started, just man like Derek Morgan and who else is the boat? Prince Buster and them, man. Prince Buster and Derek Morgan. We used to. Love ear sing, you know what I mean? The man that inspire me. Me usually leave school just for go look for Prince Buster down Orange Street. Oh, so yeah? Man look for him and dirt for him and go by, you know what I mean? My thing, man. <laughs> but before we get round to the part, the great one, talk to yeah. us though. Early life, place of birth. Well, I born in Kingston, you know, down in, in the west, Denham Town. Oh, okay. But I grew up in Jonestown. Mm. Waterhouse, you know what I mean? And still in town. Still in town. <laughs> <laughs> how, many, how many brothers and sisters? Well, I've, I've got um, two outside brothers, one with the same mom and dad, so I've got three brothers. And I grew up knowing one sister, but in you know, the last half, my old man come get her next daughter. So it's two daughters. <laughs> Yeah. See, man? Two sisters. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and and the brothers and sisters that you know, they're still alive? Yeah, man. Um, well, my lick, one of my brothers drop out. Oh, uh, my condolences. Mama and dad drop long time. See? When you say long time, what do you mean? From in the 80s. From in the 80s. Yeah. My condolences, man. Yeah. Mm. Late 70s, 80s. Oh, okay. Where you attended school? Well, I went to. to um, Various schools. I went to Kingston Senior. Mm -hmm. I was um, going to um, private school in Seward Pen. Okay. And all these things, because my father used to live in Tower Hill. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Tower Hill. That's how I grew up in Waterhouse mm. as well. Oh, okay, okay. You know, so, so mommy was in Johnson and the old man was in Waterhouse? Yes. Yeah, so okay. So me have to do yard when me and him get angry. You go and run a moment. The Jones don't <laughs> let him. It's all right with him because I used to love with him. So when me and him alone left, him give me a lot of money for tea, lunch and dinner. And work a waterfront. You know? OK, cooler, 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 cooler. <laughs> but when the heat get hot, yeah, she cooler won't. for town. Mm. Mm. What was it? Well, you said daddy used to give you a I don't want to say, but generally speaking, what was it like growing up between Johnson and Waterhouse from a financial perspective, though? My mother, she, is, she was a poor woman. She mm. never had it. You know, man, but my father was a man who was always working. Was so that he took the balance? Good worker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she didn't think that always up. But I think it kind of set away around yeah. from the old lady side. side. You know what mm. I mean? Mm. So. When, it's when I was in Jonestown now, at 11 year old, I started out singing. I started singing, um, start my career when I was, was 11 like years old. 11, yeah. yeah but I even did, before I you did my first song. Yeah, we soon get wrong to your first song there. But even before you reached this Father Donkey Man, uh -huh. growing up then, what give you the musical drive, that energy that you say, Yo, you know me like that something up? Like how you ended up starting at 11, what led up to that? Yeah, I used to love to listen to the radio mm -hmm. and the songs them that they play. 
you know, because I, 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 I was very quick mm -hmm, in mm -hmm. knowing a song, in learning a song. From I know where the verses, the, um, verses you know, my, the choruses, how much bars in the chorus, how much bars in the verse. I, I, I just get it. Like that. Mm. You just listen to a song two times. And you have it locked. I have it locked. It was quick like that, you yeah. know what I mean? So who were the persons on the radio at the time where you all listen and say, eh, you know what that want to do? Let me just listen to various artists. Okay. I was, but I, I, I used to listen to a lot of um, American songs, mm. like all stylistics and child lights. Impression, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, well. Yeah, we grew up in that era there. Yes. So, locally, though, who were the main men in the space at the time? Oh, well, it was Prince Boston and Derek Morgan. Mm. They have other singers come along, like um, Desmond Decker. They have Jimmy Cliff. Toots and the meters. Ken but, was around in that time as well? Yeah, Ken was around, but these guys were the first runners. Mm, the front runners at the time? Yeah, mm. because it's either I was singing before Ken Booth or Ken and I started out the same, the same time. time. Could be. Mm. You know? But them guys there was, um, you have Larry Lee Kins. You have guys like uh, Owen, Gray. Owen Gray. Some people might hear the name of <laughs> They just uh, remember those artists. You know, Owen's still alive. Oh, he's yeah. still alive? Yeah, living in Britain. Okay. Yeah. Mm. So these were some of the people that we are listening on and say, yeah? yeah. But like, that's something. Yeah. All right. Mm. You know what I mean? And I, 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 I sing every day. Every day? Every day. Mm. I was like, because I was always a, a lonely kid. Mm. You know what I mean? I have my bridge in them. We dip on the corner. Every man bunch up and attack and talk. And when you look now, you see me one away. Up to today. Still one away. I'm like that. <laughs> you know what I mean? I look, it's a good way that. Yeah, I look and observe and listen. Mm. That is me, you know, I have less to say. That, that wise approach to the father. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, and, and whilst you were in school, mm. um, there was a, you were a part of a duo, the school boys with Junior English. Yeah, me and Junior started out. That's what I tell you, we started out in Junestown. Okay. I was living at Woodrow Street. Junior was living, um, Round the back end, right near Jamaica Street or some street round the south. So um, I remember the day he was uh, migrating to England when I think his parents sent for him. Mm. You know what I mean? But he was a, 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 a bit a, a small, a, yeah, a bit bigger than me. Okay. Yeah, his whole, whole, yeah. So I remember the morning he was going. How old were you at the time? Twelve. Twelve. Oh, so that's a one year in a career, man, here in the at the age yeah, level. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So you guys never did really and truly in the music together for too long then, because he no. out. Yeah, because he went away. Mm. You know what I mean? So Junior migrated. Me start singing for myself. I joined clubs. Boy Scout. Mm. I was an active youth, you know what I mean? I used to have my patrol, uh, you know what I mean, march them up, you know what I mean? Yeah, man. But even before Junior leaves now, yeah, and Junior the kind of, you know, I put on a put on the thing because Junior, Junior was there when you went to audition for Prince Buster? Yeah, it was my name. Mm. You know what I mean? And Talk to me through that. <laughs> well, I remember Buster just um, came back from England at the time. He, he had a big song in the British chart. Okay. So he went to, in to England. England and tour. So when he came back, he put it in the paper that he's doing production mm -hmm. and he need artists, you know what I mean? 
and him set up an addition. I want to tell you, when we reached the gate, we were the two smallest youth. The amount of singers, um, musicians, where you say, but, uh, um, I remember um, it was Charles Street, Charles Street and Lou Clear. Mm. So when I said to Junior, I said, boy, Junior, it look like we're going to say <laughs> Prince. Prince today. You know? <clears throat> And anyhow, the prince never come yet. So the man them scattered all about the corner. Here comes the prince now. Every, and go through the yard gate. Everybody rush to the gate. Me and Junior are the two smallest. Me and say, boy, Junior, we now go get for the bus time now. Too much people there, so. But before that, me and Junior did a practice the song on the corner. Mm. You know, so a lot of people come gather around me and say, where them two little youth you come from, you know what I mean? So the man them on the corner, bust a bridge in them. Them say, oh, I do not gather up and them two youth here first as a buster. <laughs> <laughs> here comes the prince now, and when we move to the man, them say, come you to not come. The man them crowd up, I push them, push me and Junior over the crowd head, you know, over the crowd, you know. Yeah. I was reaching at the yard. <laughs> and me and Junior start, and Busta said, sing my queer. And I start sing me and Junior. And... You remember which song you sang? Yeah, we did sing a song when me, when me did write. Oh, yeah? Yeah, a song named Face God. Face God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my one little face is gone, you know what yeah. I mean? But the day at the session, um, after we, we sing and we say sing another song and we sing a few more songs and he give us a slip, so we must come to the studio. Mm. You know what I mean? He give us a session, so me and Junior saddle up for the, for the session. session. But I was disappointed because Buster wanted to him and Dirk Morgan to sing the song. So, so, so. Yeah, him want him and Dirk Face Morgan. gone? Yeah, him want him and Dirk because Derek was in the studio with him. Oh. When we were record the song, but Derek said, make the youth them sing, sing the song. He claims me now, me now sing with the proper harmony. Him and Junior go sing it, and the two of them sing my song. Oh, but, the song yeah. was actually recorded. Yeah, it's so recorded. Boss, Prince Buster and Junior, Junior English yeah. song, yeah, my Face song. Gone. Yeah, but me had other songs where Junior fly out mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and he make me do them. Oh, okay. Uh, he me even um, write a song and give me for sing to. Which song is that? Um, I sang them, my future lies ahead of me, sir. You don't know, but I'm the king, sir. Mm. See that house upon the hill, sir. My castle that will be, sir. Do you have the talent in that one? I need your daughter to be my queen, sir. Buster write it, man. A Buster wrote the song? Yeah. I'm going to say a junior write the song? Nah, man. Okay, Buster wrote the song. So, yeah. so, so, Phase Gone with, with mm. Junior and Buster, that was actually released? Yeah, man, it was played on the radio. Okay. And all them things there. Yeah. So what yeah, was the I mean, first song you actually recorded? Because in the street, it's a gypsy, and the next one I say, oh, no. uh, my queen. <laughs> Yeah, my queen. That was the first one. Yeah, Cherry, you forget about me. And that che was that was Skia, you know. Skia. Yeah. Cherry, mm, Cherry, you forget about me. <laughs> and that was your junior. No, and you are alone in the song. Yeah, that type junior Ghana, Ghana, Ghana England. Oh, what can I tell you? So say? when Junior leave now, <laughs> me start sing for my own. I mm. try to sing again with, with another youth named um, Dan Carlos. Oh, yeah, and Dan Carlos tried to do a thing. So what happened yeah. to that? 
it never work out, you know what I mean? Because there was some kind of jealousy be between him and I. Because um, this song, Stop Your Lying Girl, Please Stop Your Lying Girl, was written by, by um, Jimmy Landon. Okay. But Jimmy couldn't manage the tune, so Joe Gibbs decided that he was going to pay Jimmy for the song. Right? He tried Dan Carlos to sing the song. He couldn't sing it how they want it. You know what I mean? And they give me the song, and me sing the song, and the song hit and run away. Far, and, far. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That was my second hit. That was the second hit? Yeah, because the first one was You're Gonna Meet, meet Me. me. Mm. Buster. How many songs they actually recorded run by Buster though? About three. About three? Yeah. So three you are my, my queen and what else? Cherry. Cherry. Yeah, yeah. and um, my future. My, so where did Gypsy song come from? What are song they do? No, that it part of the history they wrong. Me oh, okay. Me is off here, correct, correct, correct it. Correct it for me then. Yeah, all in a Europe and them things. Them, a right sure song named Gypsy. It's because they say, you and Ray Shirley do the song. Right. And me and Ray Shirley never sing a song. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> so that's Ray Shirley's song? Yeah, sure. Okay. Okay, that that out, of, out, of, out of my jurisdiction. This time, yeah, I understand, man. You see, because we, we don't do the research, you know, at yeah, them things that we yeah, see, so we yeah. have to try I to I always have there. to correct it all the while. Mm. All over the world, I have to correct it because people are always asking this question. Yes. Oh, you, you, you never get that, that, that song they do at, at Prince Buster, that, that hit song there. And mm -hmm. when you move over to Joe Gibbs. I never had a hit song with Buster. I never had any. Mm. Why you choose song. to move over though? Well, it's. Um, Joe, um, um, Joe Gibbs now. How I meet Joe Gibbs is through Bonnie Lee. Oh, okay. You know, because. I meet Bonnie Lee at Dynamic Studio. Oh, okay. And because I, I, as I say, I, w I was a member of a 4 inch club mm. in Olympic Way. So I, I, I was always winning the contest. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the whole yeah. time I don't win is when I don't enter. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So um, the head of the. the, the, the the four years, they g gave me a letter, say I should take this letter and see a man down a dynamic name Vic Sampson, something like that. Mm. Yeah, so when I went there, he, he wasn't there. And Bonnie Lee was outside at the gate. So he asked me, what well, well, go on, I'm tell him. So I'm come for see Vic Sampson and say, well, then, I'm not here, you know, but I look for my good and I say, do you sing tune already? And I say, yeah. I ask me who me used to sing for, I say, Prince Buster. I say, yeah, man, I know you, man, I know you. You want to see me have a man just a come in at the business. <laughs> a producer named Joe, Joe Gibbs. Gibbs. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, so Bonnie, Bonnie Lee said, he record one artist already. He record Ray Shirley. Oh, OK. Right? And he carry me now. We meet Joe Gibbs. And 
That was how the link they make. The link they make. So, Errol Dunkley is the second artist to record for Joe Gibbs. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. But great, right? But you, and then tell me, yeah, 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 what? 13, I got 14. Yeah, them times when I was 14. 14. I got 15. I was 14 because that, that song, You're Gonna Need Me. It in 1965. 1965. But you're gonna need me. You're gonna need me, darling. And it won't be long. <laughs> World song, Father Don't Play. Yeah, yeah. Well, what all, all the songs come nice about? Song. Well, Joe Gibbs um, gave me some 45. Because Joe Gibbs used to live. Used to live in you know, one of the islands, them, mm. right? In in um, fix TV and oh, okay. uh, them thing. There. So this is 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 a shop him had, fixing TV and radio and them thing there. So Bonnie Lee introduced him to the business. Mm. A striker interview with Joe Gibbs to the business. Yeah, and get him in the business. Carry Roy Shirley, and. And then you end up there. Yeah. So I'm gave us some tune for listening. We listen to songs them. Me and Slim Smith. Great yeah. Slim Smith. Yeah, cause Slim was my bona fide brethren. Oh yeah? Yeah. Mm. And me and Slim. Me and Slim work out the song. Mm-hmm. Okay. And, and we kinda change it up, you know? Put our structure in it. Mm. Yeah. And it was. <laughs> but you're gonna need me. <laughs> yeah. and Childhood star. It. And that was it. Yeah. That was it. That and song. Then, and then the Stop Your Lies. Stop no, Your Lies. Follow, follow. That was a follow up song. Mm -hmm. You better stop your lying, girl, and speak the truth. If you don't love that guy, tell him you do. Every night you're on the beat with another guy. And the poor guy works so hard, and you big and strong. Yeah, but tell the bird, I'm going home. Sing it for me. I'm going to see my it's been a long time And I am longing But you're gonna need me Yeah, you're gonna need me You're gonna need me, darling And it won't uh, You wrote that? No, that was a song I tell you that Joe Gibbs gave Gib. to. Oh, oh yes, yeah. yes, yes. So to, to, to Dan yeah, Carlos to yeah. sing. Yeah, and for, for years Jack Dan Carlos, or when him team up with Black Hero, him ever attack, I tell the man them say take away him song when we are youth. But a Joe give you the song. Of course. Mm. And Jimmy Landon a living proof, man. Oh yes, Jimmy, yeah, Jimmy Landon wrote the song. Yeah. Mm. But Jimmy couldn't sing the song. Yeah. Please stop your lying, girl, and speak the truth. If you don't love that guy, tell him you do. Every night you're on the beat with another guy. And that poor guy works so hard to make you big and strong. One day you're gonna find he will get you off his mind. I know it won't be long. A change is gonna come. You better stop your lying, girl, and speak the truth. 
Father, <laughs> don't click. I think I them tired of them, the girl in the boat, and no. <laughs> Big tune, brother. Yeah. Hit after hit. May God ever bless it. Then I had another song named I'm Going hey, I'm Home. Going Home. That mm. was a follow up. Yeah. But then, yes, I, as I look at you, they are strike. Ha, father, don't live on. Yeah, man. <laughs> I have a next little bridging upside of my name, D. Brown. I'm the animal around the town. Yeah, D. Brown around the town at the time. <laughs> yeah, it was me at Dead Rye first. Yeah, Dead Rye first. Yeah, because Dead Rye was the first kid. Yes, kid star. Yeah, mm. me second. And D. Brown and D. third. Brown third. So after a while, it was me and D. Brown, a tour and all them play, things like think, Canada mm -hmm. and all them over, you know what I mean? Yes. You did another England song. And all, but yeah, you did another song. This will pick up D. Brown's story. You, you did another song run by Joe Gibbs. Brother Love, Love Brother. Yeah. That was the last song you did at, at, at uh, Gibbs. Love Brother, yes. No, as a whole album, Joe Gibbs. You did Gibbs. a whole album? Yeah. Mm. As him son named Rocky Gibbs. Of all the product them Right, now. because I don't know if an album being released. Right? The first album that Sonia Patinja released, right? presenting right. Errol Dunkley. Right, yeah. That was my first so album. So why Joe never released the well, album? Joe Gibbs' album was before that. Yeah, it but was, but, like, it was, but like, was it released? No. Did Joe, right. It never released. But why Joe never released the album? I don't know. Probably the, the album never complete. It oh, was okay. a, about eight songs. It was about eight songs I ever recorded for it. Okay. So mm. they probably at least two shots of the album type of vibe. Yeah, because that was the, the 12 songs. 12. Mm. About four. But okay, about four. Yeah, mm. but him son put it out now. Oh, he did? Yeah, in New York. Under what name? Same Rocky Gibbs. Same, uh, no, man, the title of the album. I think I stop your line. Stop your line. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to look for that. Yeah. Mm. But before you leave, Joe, now, and coming to show the timeline, mm -hmm. was that the time now when you started doing a few um, Delray Wilson covers? Yeah. <laughs> that was when me and Gregory set up our. Oh, so our that was own. African Museum. Yeah. Oh, okay, so we're going to reach on to that then. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Holy for sitting, sitting. And that me does say holy for sitting, sitting, man. <laughs> so me know somebody sitting, sitting, man, a father don't go, but yeah. me know the timeline. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So now, eventually, though, you and Joe Gibbs are, are falling out of sorts. Yes. What go on there, sir? Joe Gibbs, Joe Gibbs is just a bleed my blood here, sir. All he might do is pay my school fee because me don't go to Warren Hall, secondary school. Oh. You know what I mean? And. So after you start, you still got school. Yeah, we oh, got school. We think school. Like, no, we think it's up. You know, some school. man bust and just done with the school thing, father. Don't no, man, we start when we start <laughs> singing at school. Me, I'm going. You still got like school. Yeah. Oh, so you were at Warren Hall, is it? Yeah. Oh. Oh. I was school will tell me about eighteen. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And you yeah, said so the only thing father gives a door, I pay the school fee. Right. With months of songs I wrote, sir. I'm changing him car after him. <laughs> <laughs> and them girls, them after him. He changing car, the girls are after him. And the mansion big. Yeah. Yeah. And I do school fee money I get. Talk to me, the man. Or a pretty shirt, or a pretty pants, or a pretty shoes. So you, you spoke to him about it? Yeah. Because when do he registered my songs them. All when me write, him registered them. And took writer's credit for All my publishing. In my collect my publishing. You know what I mean? So I just threw the contract back in my shop and walk out. Yeah. And I walk out, I start singing for all kinds of producers <laughs> now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I it's... sing for um, Randy's, them, and oh, MVP. Didn't... Oh, okay, okay. You had any success there in terms of hits with, 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 with Randy's? No, it was Millie Walker said. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Good songs then, but none of them never. I really hit like that. Yeah, and then I, I sing some songs for, um, for Bonnie Lee as well. Okay. No, not big. Not, not really yeah. connect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, them songs then wasn't really successful. Mm -hmm. so. 
but him have them on compilation albums, you know what I mean? Me and Gregory, me and Gregory team up now. So hold on, so before, you, you have Gregory team up before you link up with, with Rodway? Yeah, man. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Rodway just sit up on the corner, me and Gregory do the thing. Oh, okay. And, and, yeah. and, and show me some songs where him write. Mm. But him write the songs, them like poems. Oh, he was a poet. Right. Mm. So, so before we reach on a roadway then, because as we mm. said, we are trying to establish a timeline to it. Yes? Yeah. And so you know, and the cool ruler link yeah. up. Yeah, and this, this was about 67. This was know? about 67? Yeah, 68, them oh. time there. And you see, the reason why I'm here is because in the literature out there, it said African Museum label was formed in 1973. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boss. So yeah, 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 good, good. I did the thing from '67. Yeah, because Movie Star was the first, first it we had the first song on the label, and that was and correct me again if I'm wrong. Delroy Wilson had done that song as I don't know why. Correct? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Jackie Mitu wrote the song. Jackie Mitu wrote the song. Yeah. Oh. See. But even before you reach this, I do a father don't you? You know, spend some time around a, after you left Joe Gibbs, around a Clement, you go, around a Studio Stu One. Yeah, yeah, I got Studio One because um, Levi Sibbles invited me to Studio One because he was the, the BS, BS, BS mm. um, session, session BSC. So I got Studio One. I do a portion of songs. Not, not so I dad never released them. I never released them. No, and put um, the satisfaction when we make my cover and put it on an album. Okay. You know what I mean? Because just before him drop out, him, him, um, him did in him studio work and I never in a, in a tape room. I look mm. through some look old through time tape, tape mm. and find something and take them off and him, I, I said to myself, but a long time you're there with my Jackson, we never know. <laughs> yeah. Cause I'm like, call him everybody Jackson. Jackson. Yeah, what I've yeah, heard. Man. Yeah, man, I cry. He make me cry, man. Come out of studio one. Yeah? Yeah. Me and, me and Del, um, Dennis Dele, I tell you, Bridget, we are struggle, we are suffer, white squad, I bite we more time and daytime. Even after you're going to need me on top of your line? Yeah, man. <laughs> He's the <little> man it <laughs> never done. <laughs> like it never even started. Like it never started. So, the Friday evening, I can't remember, Virgin. Uh, Mr. Dad, give me some big promises, I And oh, my God. See me? Mm. So the Friday evening now, when me go check him, he called me in his office. I think the man is going to give me our money. No money. That time, Dee Brown sit down, so. I'm not a man tree. I sit down. Bridging. A few tears have come down my cheek. So I'm come out now, I say, so D bro, I say, boy, De Dennis, you hear me? I said, Dad, I'm the wickedest man. I now come back here, so. I <laughs> <my> suffer to you. I say, well, here I come. I said, boy, I don't know where for going now. I say, all right, I will see you. <laughs> and I just start walk from Brentford Road. And when I reach a North Street corner, who that, me say? Gregory. At the time we call him Toot, you know? Toot. <laughs> so I said, Toot, what? He said, Where you there from morning, me I look for you? Because that Friday there was a Friday, I can't forget. Because watch this. My mother dip on my keys. I must get a job. Mm. See? So me start. Me get a job now, I work with some man up at Red Hills with this big something. Ba -ba 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 -ba. 
Yes, a cheap out. You see, well, I couldn't stand that, you know, I couldn't take it no more because the supervisor I had just dip on my keys. I tell me how I salt up me and them, me and them too soft. <laughs> <laughs> and them thing there. I couldn't take it. Because every, every 12 o'clock afternoon, them run a boat, you know mm. what I mean? They eat two of the big dumplings, them some salt fish, and the breeze so cool. <laughs> I go to the back. <laughs> and now <they're> cold. <laughs> okay. You them call it. Digger writers. Okay, digger writers. <laughs> <laughs> so, I <laughs> just go so now, bop. And I will arrest. This supervisor brother come. Kick my foot. Every day I'm doing my dad you now. Get up, you out. Work time. Get up. So I said, big man, you know, could I just <laughs> said, I uh, never you know, could I just wake me up cool and that you come and kick my foot. Every day I'm doing. So well, I just get mad one at a time, you know. And you start fling some stone off him, and then run go in at the shed and you stone down the shed with him. <laughs> and I just say, oh, you see me, I'm not coming back here. I'm coming here next week for my peer and make sure I get full pay. <laughs> yeah, the bad boy for the era. <laughs> no, no, me never bad. Me have some of it. Me know it. You know it. You like streets. Yeah, but mm. me never, you know what I mean? Me never me know what have, have, so have to put it right, right. to the test. <laughs> so, me said, boy, instead of me walk around the road, I just come down half of the hill because it's just the first part of oh, Red Hills. Red Hills. Mm -hmm. As you go up the hill, you just do the left. So I just slide down through the bush and reach down a Red Hills Road. I'm at a gas station there, so I just start walk. I told me I walk, but I see a trucker come round. I just run down that and hop it. Yeah, man. When we reach, Further down now, I go down to half a tree. The, the, the truck, I, I switch. Okay, I go a different route from where I go. I just bail off of that and catch our next truck. <laughs> and I stop, I saw me stop at studio wow. one now. Mm. And I said, Dad. Bring me out. Yeah. <laughs> so I just leave crying now. I go down Aaron Street, you know what I mean? I get emotional now and just as I reach Aaron Street and North Street, who that me say? Gregory Isaac, like just and him come. <laughs> choo choo. He said, we the from morning, may I look for you. You want to see my producer say, say I want to record you, you know. Rupee Edwards. Rupee. Mm. That time, that time this, um, the medley thing did not go on. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. When the artists, them, I sing back all four, five, six of them songs in a one. Ken Boone and the whole of it. So I said, I'm going to sing back my three hit songs. Three in one. The three in one, I saw the three in one. Mm. I saw the one said, oh, uh. <laughs> Yeah, man, the tune come mash up the place, man. The Friday. Gregory carried me to meet the man. The man used to give me 500. 500? Yeah, I talk about big money them time. Eh? <laughs> I go home and put it in on my bed foot. Because I have a chunk bed, you know what I mean? Yeah, man. Every minute as I, go, as I come off of the road, I go yeah, and look. check it again. <laughs> <laughs> Every minute I check this 500, yeah. So I said to Gregory, I said, boy, we have to start record for ourselves, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are the youngest producer. You know, the thing at the time? Yeah, at the time. See me? Because them time there, we are just teenagers, see mm -hmm. them, you know? Just bigger teen, like 17, 18, 19, yeah. them age there. 
So African Museum label That's, was formed. Yeah. Gregory said, forget name, African Museum. I said, all right, we work with it. And boom, we got record movie star. Whose idea was that? My idea. Your idea. Yeah. Tune <laughs> runway. It song. It song one. Mr. Dad, when Mr. Dad recorded it with Leroy, it was just an album track. Ah. So when we come record it over as, as a, a seven inch now. Mm, five to five. Yes. We said that run go take off the dry wood. I should oh. put it up. But it couldn't stand up against our wood. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I'm never too like that, you know. Ah. Yeah. But it's a man where you used to knock out people. When them when them do him chewing, but him couldn't knock we out. He couldn't knock you out. No man, knock out what? Right. <laughs> then I'm told where I come from, man. You know, I knock out too. And then I'm told people them eat your up. <laughs> you may not be a movie star. You may not drive a big bus car, but I love you. So did Can't Love Another? Hmm? That yeah. was another Delroy Wilson? Which he, one? Can't Love Another. He did it as It's Impossible? Love Another. Yeah. A trio with it sing that song. Three, who, who else is on it? Dennis. Dennis and, 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 and Gregory. Yeah, it was Delroy and me. Oh! Yeah. And then uh, Mr. Dad come record back. Dennis. Oh. And the Delroy rhythm. My rhythm and me create my rhythm. Okay. But the one with Dennis sing pan the same one Delroy is sing on. Oh. So the trio we did have that tune there. Mm. But my own was the champion. <laughs> and the truth. That's a cat love another. Mm. That now kinda of developed a little rivalry between you and Delroy we also started to manifest. Yes, uh, that them say, but... That them say, what you say? We just sing, just love sing it. just a sing so tune. Yeah, because Jamaica people always like this contest thing, you a know chore, what I mean? That's a chore, that's a chore, that's a chore. But we never compete. Yeah, but yeah. then now, Delroy did. He trying to conquer me. Aye, Jackie me too said. Jackie me too wrote it. that. He write it and get Delroy because me I get too bad. Him <laughs> <laughs> say we get him tell me with the moon. He tell her, Jackie told you. Yeah. A big two that's a little fire out there. Yeah. Then you did know as a counter scratcher for trying to conquer me. The scratcher. Yeah. <laughs> Joe gives right that. Oh, Joe gives right that. Mm. So young young Joe did still because no, no, that was before that was Rupert, before, before that was Rupert, before you Rupert, and um, Yeah, before Rupert was and oh, then and Gregory. Okay. Mr. Dupree. Yeah. That so, was any more tune do between you and Delroy in another local time, eh? After you do Scarcha? Uh -huh. No. No. <laughs> and that is a good vibration, that's still. <laughs> yeah, we, we never had a compete, but two, Jack is right the tune, get Delroy. Joe gives him right that, give me. Uh, Scarcha. <laughs> yes. <Yeah, laughs> There's few man know that name, that's still. Well, we know the songs. That's why when we are introduced, we said the scorcher. Yeah, 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 some people yeah, call it that way as well. Yeah, man, I am a man who knew me a long time. Because mm -hmm. that, Gregory used to call me. The scorcher. And I call him Toot here. Toot. Oh, Toot. Toot. <laughs> toot. Now, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, when we are growing, we used to fake Toot here when we don't want to go to school, you know. <laughs> Tell the mother about it. You see that right here. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> So it was when uh, you and um, Gregory link up, mm -hmm. you link up with 
right away? Uh, it was after. Yeah, yeah. No, it was the same during. time. Yeah, because after Movie Star, um, Movie Star was a platform for Cinderella. Mm. You know what I mean? Because he gave me this, bu this book. I show me the point, the, the, the things them were right. Okay. Jimmy Rodway. Because even the song, I did two songs for him. Mm. My name, Keep, Keep the, the Pressure, pressure Down. down. Mm. That was the follow up to Cinderella. Black Cinderella. Yeah, and him did one, and after a while, him did one, him did one, me sing um, Mother Liza. When I give a smart for sing. Oh, so you never sing it? No, I follow out with him upon the money thing because the man I sell Cinderella like rice. Gee whiz. And no, and no rice to you? <laughs> Some crumbs you might get out for the cake. <laughs> so you never follow out? Yeah. At least I never did go for it. For, for, it was just a one-half thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because me and Greg would have done of the African music. Right, right. right. You know what I said? But Black Cinderella hit massively. Yeah, man. Biggest tune that. And it started out as a poem. Yeah, that was what he was writing. And you take it and rework it into a song. Yeah, put extra line in it and the words to and thing, you know what I mean? Mm. And if memory serves me right, Jackie Jackson was on keyboard. No, Jackie Jackson played bass. Bass guitar, okay. Uh, Ox Brown was on guitar. lead guitar. Tin Leg was on the drum. drums. yeah. Who me miss out? I miss out some other people. I don't remember. But a big line up that, I think Neville, who produced the song? Who took the voice? It was um, Never, Never Lee. Lee. Yeah. Mm. Byron Lee. Yeah, man. Family. Mm. One of the biggest songs in the history of music. Yeah, man. Father Errol. Choo choo. Give thanks. <laughs> How you say? Mm. Father Rodway. No, I split the thing right to you. Jimmy. Jimmy. Yeah, I, 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 I studio one, him give the tune later on. Oh. I studio one, I have it right now. Okay. Mm. Big a couple lines out that big tune. I'm it to them. Oh, nice to them. Yeah. Big a couple lines out that tune, my father. Don't we? Waking a fine, my black Cinderella. I've got to find my black Cinderella. She can it be. Far away, and oh, 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 my black Cinderella, show up your face, for I've got to find you to give you happiness. Right away. <laughs> As big songs go, that's one of the biggest songs. So I don't go. True, true. Yeah, true. man. World song, man. Yeah, man. And you said earlier that the biggest song in the catalog. And you have a whole heap of big songs. Yeah. Breaking a fire. My black sin. Happiness, 
call me have songs like um, so okay, you, you, you'll never know. You will never right. Yeah. Mm. Love is amazing. Please stop your line. When I thought love is amazing it's still. Yeah. <laughs> Who you did love is amazing for? Myself. Oh, for yourself. Oh, because eventually you now Gregory and, and, and sort out this to me now. Because it's saying on the streets that Gregory took Gregory took sole ownership of African Museum and then you form Silver Ring. Yeah. What go on this? Sir? Well, I mean, Gregory split up, you know what I mean? Okay. Because Gregory is ignorant, bad virgin. Mm. And we did have an office. We have an office, you know, at Orange Street. But. <laughs> la la la, chew away up. <laughs> oh, yeah? And I would call her Gregory too, because, you know, we could have talked to the man humbly. Yes. You know what I mean? But Gregory said, oh. I come out of this and read. <laughs> some jealous people. Because mm. of business we are doing. Right. Right? But never like the face of other people that ever come look for me. Okay. Okay. Instead so of free. Yeah. Sound man. Mm. Producers. You know what I mean? Well wishers. Everybody <laughs> have come out. Yeah. Right. So, that create a little vibe. Yeah, I never like it. So too much people are come on the building. So that's how the museum split up. Mm-hmm. And then you form. Yeah, Gregor go, Gregor go open theme store, a Spanish town road. And, and me have my my store. Uh, Anna Street. Okay, okay, in okay. A, in a okay. Anna Town. Yeah. But you and Gregory did still good though. Yeah, man. Mm. Yeah, man. Mm. Be, be glad for that. Be glad for that. Wherever good, man. Nice, nice, nice. So the first album now came for Sonia, but that's about 72, see me? Yeah. Mm. Presenting Errol Dunkley. Yeah. And some of the trucks are mine. Okay. And some of the trucks. Them, uh, she, so on, yeah. yeah. I think one of the tunes from that we do very well is a little way different. Yeah. Mm, which other songs on the album? She try to forget me, me give her the publishing on it before she died. I wrote that song. Yo, you wrote it? Mm. Mm. Which other song of that album got, 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 got you know, some loving on the streets? It's not on that. You Love never, is amazing, you, isn't it? You, you'll never know, isn't You'll it? never know. Yeah. I mean, it's sing. I can't remember. I can't, yeah, I understand how it's thing, come on. I understand. And as we speak all that now, so your love is amazing. It's an ex- amazing song in the, in the catalog. Yeah. Yeah, man. I'll be a couple of lines out of that. I'm not going to ask sing the most after that. Ooh, baby. No, that's baby. Baby, I love, I love you. you. That's mm. another big, big song. song. Yeah, man. <laughs> Your love is amazing. Your love is amazing. You made a wanderer like me into what I'm supposed to be. You stood beside me. Right or wrong, erase my weakness and make me strong. Now I'm gonna love you my whole life true. Cause no one ever does the things you do. Ooh, your love is amazing. Charlene, ooh, we, your love is amazing. With nothing to cling to, day or night, nothing for me, see you to go right, darling, you stretched out. Your hands and make me a better man. 
Now I'm gonna love you my whole life through. Cause no one ever does the things you do. Darling, ooh, we, your love is amazing. Silver ring still still going or no, that labor no, dinner? No, that no, that abolish. A long time. For me, leave Jamaica. 1973. Right. Shelly Records. Yeah. Uh, it was Bonnie who set it up. Okay. So I, I had a contract with a company in London. Shelly. Yeah, Shelly Recording Company. And they sent for me and I've been there since. How long you spent in England? I think you come back home 96, 7? Yeah. So from you 73. <laughs> From 73 to 96, 7. To and, 97. And England are there? Yeah. Yeah? yeah always in a out, in a yeah, out. Okay, me understand. I come home, come make all the OK Fred album. Right. Oh, yeah, they make OK Fred album? Uh, yeah. And then that me I try to show you, because I said OK Fred album was made in a London studio. Me I tell you, that the man they have written out there, you know, for no, all that No, man. <laughs> I slay and rub it at Slay and rub it. <laughs> A Channel One we Channel make. One? Yeah. Mm. Oh, no, yeah, the whole album was built on Channel One. Yes. OK Fred album. And I think this, before we reach OK Fred, I think the second album was Sit Down and Cry? No, and Sit Down and Cry? Come After OK That's, Fred. Oh. That was a follow. OK. That album made in England. Oh, that one made, was made in England? Yeah, because um, she, uh, Shelley sent for it. Um, Send for the whole complete band from Jamaica. Which band was it? Um, Ox Brown. Ox, oh, Ox Brown. All, all, the, all, 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 all the Treasure people Isle. Them. All the Treasure Isle musicians, them. Mm. And we built the album in England. Okay. Mm. So, OK Fred now was big success for you? Yeah, man. I mean, you won it. Are you won it? <laughs> that was the beautiful thing. Yeah, and I think, again, you can correct me, I think OK for this a cover of a John Holt song. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Big tune in England. Yeah, Number man. one in the UK chart. Make John make some good money. <laughs> 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 love me for that. They love you for that. <laughs> yeah, man. Well, that was number one in, 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 in Europe. Europe. It went 11 in England. Okay. Uh, the top 100 chart. Yeah. At them time, the record have to sell a lot, you know, for touch them charts. Chart there, right. And I like, no, record has sell how much? 15,000? 10,000, 5,000, and them say a big song that. Time to I joke move. that. <laughs> <laughs> A joke. Yeah, that, I don't want to move some wool if I own it, so I don't play. Yes, in a month. 100,000, I'm moving. Yeah, because for reaching at them top 100 chart, the merge. For a card of yourself. You have for yourself. It spent two weeks at, at number 11. Mm -hmm. But it went number one in France. One of the first reggae songs ever. Went number one in France. In, in France. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So. Paris is a place where they know I'm good. Are your streets of yeah, there? Yeah, France, yeah. <laughs> Betcha by Gallywo is another song we hit in England. Uh huh. You wrote that? No. No. Is that, I uh, remember I tell you, say, I grew up listening to people like Stylistic and Childlight. Yes. It's a stylistic Six song. Six song. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. People, them love it, Crasso. Yeah, man, we can't do show and not sing it. Oh, yeah? Mad man. Happiness forgot. Yeah, that forget was, I think. That do, make do well England, as well. England to another big song that in England. Mm. Yeah. A look away, look away different. We did it first. And the Sonia Pattinger album, album right. in Jamaica. It is but when I went to England, I do it over with Dennis Bovell. And it hit again. And that was a hit. Cause it was it was just a, a nice track. Right. And the album. But when we do it in a 45 now, 
Mm. That was a standout copy until but, now. Until now. Mm. But your time in England was very productive, Father yeah, Dumbly man. man. Yeah, three years straight, I've been best male vocalist in England. Oh, yeah? Three Me never know straight. that. Yeah. Mad. Yeah, mad, <laughs> mad. We have all portrait with, with D. Brown uh, 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 um, I present me with my the trophy. trophy. Yeah, man, we have a lot of trophies in our house. I want to see them. If we just, we can. I just come back from England because I was on a, a tour. A six months tour. Mm -hmm. England and Europe. I even went to Israel. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you know what I mean? I, I have two, two new um, awards. Awards for add to those that because I, 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 I get award from ja, I have a, award from Jaria. Mm -hmm. Um, at one old, what name? At, at something. Old. Jamaica? Yeah, man. Mm. Yeah, one of them radio stations there. Right, because at one old two, I know for them. At one old six of them two people, let me know as at station. Yeah, yeah one at of them. them. Yeah, man. Mm. Everything in my house. Uh, and I have, have a lot of other awards. I have award from Canada. Mm. Yeah. Award from um, Palm Beach, where me and Alton did a show for um, some, some lawyer firm in Palm okay. Beach. And they granted us. Me and Pat Kelly again, they granted us some award at a different time again, because I got a lot of them. Mm. As you should, Father, don't you? Well. <laughs> As you should, well. Yeah, I'm saying, yeah, one I want to build it in, up, and it grow and come right up, you know. You understand? Yeah. I mean, a few people were before you, but you're yeah, one of the founding yeah, members man. of the thing. That's yeah, so the thing set up. So fine, I think. So fine, I think. Yeah, man. You know, I suffer no more. <laughs> try it. Try it at all. Not to suffer again. Yeah. And as we said, that though, Father, Father, uh, Dunkley. Publishing and royalties in general. I mean, when you say some of the songs, I mean, you never get no money for early or down up front. But how are things in general with the catalog well, in terms well, of publishing and royalties? Well, all of them publishing companies, they, they have to be paying up now. Yeah. You know? Because uh, I went to PRS mm. and take away my things from all of them. So PRS and PPL. Them around my thing. So Glad to hear that. Because over the years, right, I've been giving um, my publishing to, to people. But when they get the money, them they don't give, give me you. when me forget. You know what so I mean? Some people stay, I mean, I know so why. I draw me, I draw them on them. Draw them on them, man. And the whole <laughs> of them have to come up, you know, because I have my lie up on the case. But glad to hear that, great man. Yeah. yeah. Because yeah. you put in the work, and as you yeah. say earlier, you yeah. suffer. Yeah, so the man then make it get what is yours. Well, well. I have a little money, so I'm going to the studio. Mm. Yeah, because I just produced an album two, um, cool two years ago. Yeah, Cool Runnings. That's my la latest Last album. Last body of work. Yeah. Latest body of work. Yeah, I have an idea mm. for it. Do another album. I don't ever want to. Yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about. Talk 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 talk. talk. Somebody <laughs> might a thief it. They're talking about it. They're talking about it. Yeah, how. how, how how has school runnings been doing though? Hmm? How has school runnings been doing in, re in relation well, to series? Well, well it, it's kind of slow. It's kind of slow. Yeah, but uh, we're working on it, um, producing it, um, promoting, promoting it. it. You know what I mean? And get it out. Yeah. So it, 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 it it, it's on YouTube and... It's, it's on uh, Apple Holy Music Pop. and Spotify yeah, and then plays there? Puff format. It's oh, okay, fun. good, 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 good. You know what I mean? We're up to the time. What do you think for other Dunkley, man? Yeah, man. I'm glad for that, too. Yeah, man. But <laughs> glad for that, too. For the pe and before we move on to some other things, so the people out there who want to find for other Dunkley, promoters and sound men, especially, mm. when I know if they find you, how them find you? Well, I have, I have my email, but... A, a people are, are, are run my email, you know okay, what I mean? Okay. And I want to take all my business from them because since I'm there in England the other day, a whole heap of things go down. I well, never want to go Yeah, man, not going on, man. But some monkey panky things are going on. Yeah, so mm. I've had a, a change of the program. Okay, now. okay. But I always have my line online, you Running know what I mean? On my phone, mm. you can get my one. 
876-454-6774. You know Father Dunkley, as mm. we say, scare, mm -hmm. rock steady, mm -hmm. reggae music, mm -hmm. and transition into I know someone like you will probably have a, a little thing with the whole dance hall name thing. I tell me, dance hall, a place where you used to go. But that's what I'm called, the latest part. Yeah, I me know it. You me have know been it. through every stage of the musical development of Jamaica. Mm, yeah? Yeah, thanks, yeah. And you're still there you're looking strong and fit. Yeah, man, I'm ready for anything, man. Ready for anything? I'm a, a, my, my tour start. My, my tour yeah, start. Yeah, but tour soon? Yeah, in May. In May? Yeah, I go back in Brazil, Mexico. I was in Brazil in um, 2014, yeah. and Mexico. You know what I mean? I, I, I did a show of, of, of France there, the other, Paris the other day. Mm -hmm. They request me again. The gun, yeah, go back yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, I'm. I have some shows in England too. I have the um, the Canterbury Festival. Mm -hmm. Brighton Festival, see, um, um, Belgium Festival, quite a few. Quite show. a few. As you yeah. showed, man. America, I have a show coming up in Canada. I may do the um, Gregory show. Mm -hmm. Red Rose for Gregory. Right, right, right. Yeah, I may do that for Gregory in a um, May. In a May. Yeah. You're very active. Father, don't clue up. Come to me. I'm very stupid. We're glad to be here. <laughs> We're glad to be here, that man. We're glad to be here, that. Where you not going to work yet, though? Where you still hope to go to a place at one of them time? Africa. Africa. Oh, you don't reach right? Don't say it. No. Mr. Father said, yeah, that's what they say. Yeah, that's what they say. Yeah, that's what they say. but they never come true. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Eh, that yeah. needs to change, man. I do all, me do all interview. For an African radio from here and online on the phone. People, what you think about enough for other don't play? So the yeah, African man. thing they have, have got changed, yeah? So mm. yeah. <laughs> we enjoy going to perform the, the like when you hear you, you have show this. Uh, mm -hmm. You feel a nice vibe. France. France. Mm. Are the money enough down there? And Israel. Ah, uh, Israel. <laughs> London. I might. We do a year place that one. Um, we do a good show the other day. Mm. And then, um, jazz calf. Okay. You know, because I learned earlier that you, you are the owner of a sound system. Yeah, named Black Pepper. Black Pepper. Yeah, but it's too hot for anger. I want to sell it. <laughs> you're, 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 act, you're actively trying to sell the sword? Yeah, man. Oh, so, well, you know about this, so the man was interested. And yeah. as we said, we're going to show them how it thing go. Yeah, man. I, well, this is the black pepper sound. Anyone interested, check it. Check Errol Dunkley. <laughs> You know the box of me here, so I see some musical icons, the Melodians, yeah, Sugar so Minot, Peter yeah. Tosh, Bob and yeah. the... We have Greg Isaac, we have Dennis Brown, all the icons there. Then we have Nanny, Kojo, so, the whole of the black heroes there. Mm, you are also involved in other business ventures? Yeah, well... I sell and hire um, three wheel bikes. Mm. You know, so if you want to make a video. Music video. So yeah. you rent them out and you sell them? Yes. Okay, and, and people who are interested in that can get you on the same number that you shared? Yes. Mm. And I have a, a business number. So people can, if they're interested in that, they can link up and, yeah. and do them thing. Yeah. yeah. Looking at the journey, <laughs> mm. the, 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 the long journey for that ugly. Yeah, when you assess it, when you reflect on it, what is that thing that gives you a sense of, you know, gratitude, sense of accomplishment along the musical journey? Well, my sense of accomplishment is when the people them love me and love to hear me sing. And I, you know what I mean? Mm. And I share about the love too. I, 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 I love when the work is coming in, you know what I mean? <laughs> the work will come in, man. <laughs> yeah, I love, I love the tour. Yeah, man. I realize that, man. I yeah. realize that. Musically speaking, though, is there anything that you would still love to add to Errol Dunkley's legacy? Where you don't think you're, you're thicker for the list yet? A national honor. As you should, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what about we had, man. No, I was, I, I, I was told that I was up for national 
And I'm this more, time more I, than, than once. And I know, like, the longer say it, I'll forget it. I'm not going to fix that, man. <laughs> because there are people, and, and the, the truth about it is, I want to take nothing from nobody. There are people who have been conferred with national honors already in the music space. So you have done way more than them. Yeah, in the news. That's just the reality of the thing. I put in a lot of work, yeah. man. Father Dunkley, we say you're a scare, rock steady, reggae. I took on to what they think they are though. Mm -hmm. Not many people who have gone through all of those stages. Probably Cardell Campbell and Ken Booth and a few yeah, other man, yeah. men who, who would have gone that, through all yeah. those stages are still around. True. So they need to fix up them thing, right? <laughs> <laughs> so you'd love to add that to the thing and that would be fitted for the dog clean. Yeah. You understand? You would have yeah. earned that. As I see the journey again though, Father Dunkley, when you look at it, is there anything that you do differently or you think you shouldn't have done or should have done differently along the musical journey? Yeah, sometimes I think of other things like I think say me shouldn't stay so long a foreign. Mm. But I, again, staying so long in foreign, I've played it part. You know what I mean? Because I'm known. Right, right. You know what this I mean? side and that side. That's, uh, I'm known and I, 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 I had major hits mm -hmm. in, true. in these waters, in these countries. You so, know true, I mean? so, so true, so true. I, 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 I just... Yeah. Take it as it comes. Yeah, come. just look and live, you know. Yes. <laughs> That's with me right yes. now. How many children, if you are able to say? Yeah, man. Well, I have um, one daughter and six sons. Okay. And yeah, I guess you have quite I'm, a few grands as, as well, though. Yeah, man, enough, man. <laughs> a great grand, too. A great grand. Yeah, but the, the, all of them is in, is in England. Oh, okay, okay. I have only have two. I'll three great um great grand mm. and two um two grand. Okay. And about three great grand in Jamaica. In Jamaica. Mm. Yeah, but most of them is the other day I, I get for know some of them. <laughs> <laughs> you sure. yeah, you started music from your officially from your eleven years old, Father Dunkley. Yes. And, and you're a big man from me, a baby. <laughs> so, yeah, is there anything where Father don't love enough outside of music that he wouldn't have to feed him family if it was the music down the years? I want to tell you the truth. I love doing business. Business. Because when, when, I, when I was in England, I used to have a record store. Oh, yeah? Yeah, where I employ four people. You know what I mean? So, so I never just the actual music itself when it did England, you know? Yeah, I have a record store mm. and a, a record company. You know? Record company? What's the yeah. name of that company? Um, it, uh, Roots International. Roots International. That is still active? No. No. It was a register company where I have all my seal from, the, from England and all these things. But, the people them around me, you know what I mean? Mm. They they was giving me a helping hand. They were just there to, to take rip it off, himself. You know what I mean? Scrape. Yeah. I know, I know it go. They wasn't there to say, all right, Errol, me have a deal with the distribution of this song. I will make sure I say the song get promotion. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I let me do a, a pack up in a shop from my office and <laughs> big foot pad this and uh, <laughs> the pray, And the, the first sound where I ever leave Jamaica, I did that. The first sound I ever leave Jamaica? Yeah. And go to a foreign country. I did that. Which sound is that? A sound named Ray Symbolic. Ray Symbolic. Oh, where and did it go? England. England. London. All, all over England the sound play. With ranking Joe. Screw and symbolic himself. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right? I took the three of them to England. As and I I it wasn't record box they carry and play an other sound. They I carried I, physical I, I, sound. I, I ear freighted in the amplifiers. And the speakers. 
No, no. Oh, yeah, just the amps. Just the amplifiers. Mm -hmm. Seven pieces of amps. And we hire um, speaker box and transformer. Which year was that? That was 1982. 1982. History. <laughs> <laughs> Great man. Yeah. I walk the, the next album we have in mind, Manifest. And mm -hmm. the Africa thing there, that need for, that need for sort out. Yeah. People don't my yard. Do the right thing, yeah, sir. Yeah, yeah. And all the other goals and, and aspirations they have, and the national, and I think that would be fitting, very fitting. You understand? As I said earlier, you are one of the pioneering members of the of the, of the music industry. You would have contributed immensely to the growth and development and sustenance of the music. Yeah. And a man like you, why me can do what me I do now? And true, true. I really Good appreciate times. the man's contribution to the music. Yeah. For the music yeah. and with the music. True, true. Great man. Thanks. Legend in you know the yeah. thing, brother. Yeah. Give thanks, man. Yeah. Go on to the thing. Art of every time. Yeah. Really appreciate the opportunity. True, true. Bigger boss. And big up my brethren, Earl. Earl. Yeah. Earl upon the manager. management. What is the official name? Coin. Coin Entertainment. Yeah. So Coin Entertainment, that is with the management section of the thing. All right. Booking. And the bookings. Yeah. Yeah. Great man. Great. We're always there, though. Yeah, man. Yeah, I understand. I'm yeah, going to mash up the road again yeah. and them up there. Yeah, man. And the Africa thing, mostly. And the National Award. Yeah. I hope them fix up them two things. Eh. Yeah. You yeah, understand? Definitely. They're very deserving, sir. Give thanks, man. Yeah, bro. Blessings. <laughs> them each teach them right here warlord representing thank you for watching like the video before you go please subscribe if you haven't done so and remember to share the video with your friends and family and browse the channel for more quality content until next time walk good my friends teach them